Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. Welcome back to all my student. Today we going to continue new step for influence line. We done on Euler method. So for this time we going to do Muller Bray's law method. The principle of Muller Bray's law is the response function given by deflected shape of the release structure due to unit displacement or rotation at the location in direction of response function so please remember if we want to find at the reaction or at the support we going to remove the support to find the internal shear we have to introduce internal glide to allow differential displacement movement and for the moment we going to introduce inter to allow differential rotation movement now consider this simply supported beam let's find the vertical reaction at point a then influence line for vertical reaction at point b then shear at midpoint we name as point c also then moment at the midpoint now let's do for influence line for reaction at A or we can name it as AY for vertical please remember our axis is X and Y to find the influence line for reaction at A we need to remove support at A therefore we going to apply a load at point A and imagine this is a straight ruler at here still hold that ruler however when we release at A we're going to push it up then we're going to have a straight line of our ruler therefore this is our influence line for reaction at A and the highest value for that is 1.0 so we're done for influence line for reaction at A. Now let's do for influence line at RB. So for this case, we're going to remove support at B, still maintain the support at A, then we apply a force at B. Therefore, we're going to have a deflected shape like this. Therefore, we define our influence line with the highest is 1.0. Now let's find influence line VC. C at the midpoint between A and B. To do that, we're going to introduce internal glide at point C and we allow force going down and going up at that point. So this is the shape of that. So this is the influence line for VC. Please Reflect your study for equilibrium method. For the VC, we find out the value at the bottom is negative A divided by L. Then on the top side is B divided by L. Please remember, this is A length, this is B length. The total is L. So we done influence line for VC. Next, let's find influence line for MC. We have to introduce internal hinge at C. That means we're going to allow rotation. Therefore, that is our influence line for MC. Refer back the equilibrium method for moment. We define for the moment is AB divided by L. So here is A, this one is B. L is total length. So we done influence line for MC. Now let's sketch influence line for the vertical reaction at A for these three beams. We go for the first one at A. We need to remove support then apply a force going up. Imagine a straight line hold at point here then apply a force going up. Therefore we're going to have a straight line. So that is the influence line for reaction at A. 
where the value for 1 is here. Now let's find influence line for this case. At point A, here is the hinge. So remove support at A and apply force at that point. Remember, this is hinge. This still hold our ruler. This still hold our ruler. Therefore, we get this deflected shape for our ruler. Then back to the support and finish there. So that is the shape for our influence line at A. Where the value 1 at point A is here. So if we want to find value here and value here, we can easily interpolate because we know value here is 1. Now let's do for cantilever. So we need to remove support at A. Then we apply a force going up at A. So nothing hold our ruler. So automatically from the start till the end is a straight ruler. And the value for that is 1. So here is 1. So this is our influence line for reaction at A for cantilever. Now, let's sketch influence line for shear at B for this beam. So for shear, we're going to introduce a internal glide. So this is our internal glide. So we allow force going up and force going down at B. Remember, imagine as a straight ruler. However, at here, still hold our ruler. This cannot going up, just going down. Therefore, the unit for that is 1. So, this is our influence line for this case. Now, let's do for another case. We have hinge here, support here, support here, and support here as well. That means that support going to hold our ruler. We're going to introduce internal hinge at B. We're going to have force going up and force going down. So, this is the shape of our ruler when we introduce internal glide at B. So, this is influence line for our VB for this case. Next, let's find the influence line for cantilever at B. So, here is fixed support. So, we introduce internal glide at B. This cannot move anywhere, just going up or going down. So, here is our influence line and the unit here is 1. For your own exercise, try to find influence line for this case.